Okay, welcome to the video, Sig Guy here. This is just going to be a quick video regarding the P365 Striker assembly, okay? I'm getting a lot of messages, emails, and text messages lately. People are doing maintenance on their striker. Um, they're at that round count where this either needs to be replaced or maybe um, parts need to be replaced or they're doing an upgrade. Maybe they're putting the titanium M Carbo striker um, in their striker assembly. So whatever the case may be, they're taking this apart and then they're thinking they lost a little spring that lives right inside of here. So if you're one of those people that think you've lost that little spring, well then this video's for you. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so as always, whenever working on any of our firearms, we're going to make sure it's a clear and safe firearm. So we're going to lock our slide to the rear. We're going to physically and visually check to make sure there's no round in the chamber, no magazine. Check our breech face, look away. Do the same thing again. Chamber, magazine, breech face. We are working on a clear and safe firearm. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is remove our slide so we can get to our striker assembly. So we're going to lock our slide to the rear. We're going to rotate our takedown lever and remove our slide. And then depending on how old your 365 is, or better yet, how old the striker assembly is in your 365, there are two different ways to remove, um, basically to like unlock our rear slide cap here so we can remove our striker assembly. So I will, in the description below, put the link to the video that I did that explains um, both of those different methods. Okay, so my slide, it's a newer slide, one of the FDES slides, and it has the newer striker assembly, and more importantly, the uh, newer striker housing design, okay? So on this one here, this little tab, like in my video that um, I put the link into the, in the description, I'm going to push this in towards the center, and then we're going to rotate it down into that groove. Basically, you got to pull that forward, which is going to release it from my slide cap. Basically, it's forced against the slide cap, and that's keeping the slide cap from coming out. Um, so we got to push that little lever in and pull it into the groove. That way we can pull our slide cap up and out of there. Next, we'll remove the striker assembly all as a unit, and then there's a little striker safety right here. This is a little spring-loaded safety that we got to push in. So we can pull our striker assembly out and then don't let go of this because there's a little spring in there. It's going to come flying out. So we're going to rotate it on its side like this and then kind of pull out both of these pieces. And there's a little spring and the little striker safety right there. Okay. So what I recommend with these guys is put them right into a little plastic baggie. That way they do not roll off your table and land on your carpet. And then you're going to have to basically buy another striker safety because you can't get just the spring or just the safety you got to buy the kit i have two of the newer style strikers here and by newer i mean it's not like the first um we'll call it first generation or whatever where i had the very easy release mechanism on it to get it out of your 365 it's got the newer style black housing on here with the more intricate design there to keep the back plate from falling off um so i have the old style and the new style and what I mean by old style is I'm going to disassemble this now so you can see what we're all talking about. And to disassemble it, basically you've got these two little wedges, these cups are called, these black cups, retaining the spring on the striker assembly or striker itself. So when we pull our spring back off of those cups, it's going to release those cups. They're going to fall out, so make sure you don't lose any of them. And then it'll allow our spring to come right off of our striker. So basically just kind of grab it with your fingers. Pull that string down or spring down and then get those cups off of there just like that and then we can slowly release our spring and then we can pull our spring right off the assembly just like that and just like the other parts it's a very good idea to take these cups and put them in your little baggie you can throw the spring in there if you want that way none of this stuff gets lost. We've all lost those parts, and I, I'm lucky I have hundreds of these kicking around, so replacements aren't an issue. But I sell all these small parts on my website. Um, everything you can get for the 365 I have on my website, and I'm shipping those things out all day, every day, because people are losing the little parts um, to their pistols. So 
Um, so now we're going to take our striker and we're going to back it out of the housing just like that. Okay, and there's a little spring in there, so make sure it's not getting caught up on the housing. There's our housing. And I wish they sold this part separately because this gets all jacked up, especially if after, after you've removed it about a million times from the slide. Um, but this is the little spring we're talking about right here. You can barely even see it on there. People used to lose it all the time because they took their striker out of the housing and they didn't see it. And it actually fell off onto the carpet or whatever and got lost. But this is the little guy that we're talking about. The whole purpose of this video. Um, people are taking apart their strikers. This is not inside there. So they're writing me saying, hey, can I get a new one? I think I lost mine. So if you're one of these people, then this is, you're the reason why I'm making this video. And just to clarify on the replacement parts, you can't buy just this one spring or just the striker itself from SIG or just the housing. You can get um, 320 cups. I haven't seen any 365 cups. Um, I will inquire about that. Um, but you can get just the main spring. Um, you can get the striker safety, obviously, as a kit and all the other parts for the extractor and the triggers and slide caps and all that stuff. You can get um, whatever's available I have on my website. And it, may, it may not be in stock or whatever, but at least if it's available, I have it on my website for just about everything. Anyway, so if you do lose like some of these parts, um, you're going to have to buy basically a whole striker assembly. Normally, unless there's an aftermarket option, like like we mentioned already, M Carbo, they got their um, titanium striker with their their striker spring. It's a reduced power st striker spring. Um, sometimes there's cases where aftermarket companies do make replacements for just those little components. But anyway, so now we'll reassemble this really quick. We're going to put this little spring on there. We're going to put it back inside our housing. And I'm not sure what the function of that little spring is. I mean, it does pull back the striker. Picture this in your, your firearm, you know, in there like this. And it's your, your bullet's here, so it's going to strike the primer. Um, and for whatever reason, it kind of backs that off a little bit, which I get that part. But when you're talking about a whole assembly and it's got this huge spring right here, um, which it would have to overcome that spring in order to rebound a little bit like it does. You can see how I pull it here and it goes in a little bit. It's basically pulling my striker back in a little bit. That's what that spring's doing. Okay. Well, there's no way in hell it's going to overcome this spring. So I'm not sure why they put that in there. If there's an engineer or something that's watching this video, that'd be great to know if you can kind of put that in the comments. That'd be super helpful. But it's kind of mute point now because they don't have it in there anymore but it'd be good to know why they actually initially put that in there so we have that part put back together and then we'll get our striker spring in our little cups just gonna get all this stuff out of here because i got a thing over here it's not gonna roll away and then we'll grab our spring so on our striker we have this recessed portion here right in the middle and that's where our little cups need to go okay so we got to pull our spring way down below that and hold it while we put our cups on and then release our spring. It'll capture the cups and it'll lock it in place. Um, people ask me all the time what orientation those cups need to go in. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. So I just kind of use my hands like this and kind of pull my spring down on there like that. The cups do need to go in with that ridge, the higher lip facing away so obviously the skinnier portion goes inside the spring and then we'll put this on the other side just like that we're going to release our spring make sure our spring is capturing it all the way around before we release all together so it doesn't go shooting across the room and that's basically how you put the striker back together okay and here's the newer one that's out of my fdes slide this is the part number um, if you need that information. So we'll remove this really quickly. We'll remove these cups, remove our spring. And then you can see there's no little spring at all. So people are seeing this. They're putting it back together. They're watching one of my older videos, perhaps, where they see that little spring. And they're freaking out because there's no little spring there. So, um, again, July 2021, SIG removed that little spring so it's no longer needed 
Um, and they've done that in the past too with some of the 320 stuff, springs that used to be in the 320. Um, they're not in the newer design stuff because it's basically maybe over-engineered to begin with. So um, there you go. So all that we have left is to reassemble. So we're going to take our striker safety and put our little striker safety spring in there. And this is just like a, pretty much like a mag release. Um, so just put your little spring in there so it's nice and straight. And we're going to rotate our slide on its side like this. And we're going to insert it nice and straight in there. A lot of times the slide wants to knock the spring off. So just go slow and steady. Get that all the way in there. And then when you feel it rebounding because of the spring, you know you're in the correct position. So we're going to hold that in with our finger. We're going to install our striker assembly. And the striker will actually capture that striker safety so it won't come flying out. So then all we need to do is kind of pull in our striker assembly housing here and push it in far enough to where we can get our slide cap on. You can see how it's in that little groove. And we can slide our slide cap up on there. Just like that. And we push it up in there, lock it right in place. So if that doesn't click in nice and solidly, um, you can see actually my little lever here is just a little bit into the center. So I'm gonna give it some help and kind of move it over to the side. Um, but if that doesn't lock into place because you've actually removed this quite a few times and they might be getting kind of all jacked up like this one here is, you want to make sure that that's a good fit, solid fit, secure fit. That way this back, <laughs> your back plate doesn't come off, especially in an EDC situation. You really don't want anything like that happening. All that we have left is just to reassemble. And obviously you want to do your functions checks and you want to bring it to the range and put a couple boxes through it to make sure it's going to be all good to go and perform correctly. So there you have it. If you're missing that little itty bitty spring. Chances are you got a newer one and it wasn't even in there and it's kind of redundant anyway. So um, the little spring is not needed. So um, I hope you found this video very helpful. If you like these types of videos, please go to my YouTube, Sig Guy, and subscribe. And then if you need any of these parts and pieces, including triggers, slides, base pads, barrels, I mean, you name it, it's all on SIGGUY.com um, and all the little replacement parts, um, SIG factory parts as well. So as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.